All right, guys, what's the best metal roof repair option for your building? Is it gonna be a metal roof coating or maybe it's a metal roof retrofit? Stick around, we'll show you what it's all about. All right, what's up, guys? My name's Aaron, we're here in our shop and in today's video, we're talking about metal roof repair, and we're gonna compare a metal roof coating to a metal roof retrofit. Now, before we go any further, there are a couple types of metal roof retrofits out there. Uh, there's a TPO over metal, or there's a, a metal over metal roof retrofit. And so, the one that we're gonna focus on for this video is going to be the TPO, or the PVC membrane over metal versus the coating, and not the metal over metal. It's just a hard comparison. And the reason why is that the metal over metal roof retrofit, the costs are so different between that and a coating and the quality what you're getting, it's a hard comparison to make. But the cost between a TPO over metal or a PVC, a roofing membrane over metal, and a metal roof coating, now those costs are similar. So that's the comparison that we're gonna make. We're gonna try to find out what's the best option for your building. All right guys, so I just mentioned that what we're gonna compare is the metal roof coating versus the TPO over metal because the cost are very similar. So we're gonna to try to uh, figure out if it's worth the money. They, they cost about the same. Well, you say, well, how much is that cost? Well, in our area, a metal roof coating and a metal roof retrofit, a TPO or a PVC over metal, is gonna run somewhere in the three to five dollar range installed, three to six dollar range. Sometimes it's a little bit less than that if it's a great big building. Sometimes it's a little more than that if it's a small building. But that's about the range. So the cost between the two systems, a coating or a retrofit, are very similar. And it's up to us in this video, we're gonna find out what's the best value. All right, so the, the third, first thing that we're gonna compare is like the idea of a coating versus the idea of a installing a roofing membrane over top of the metal. So from right off the bat, the idea of a coating, I'm not a big fan of it because the idea of a coating is that you're going to install multiple layers of a paint or a sealant, you're gonna roll it or spray it on, you're gonna install multiple layers onto a metal roof and you're going to try to build a membrane on the metal roof that's gonna keep the, the metal building dry. So you're gonna build a membrane in place on the metal. Now I've never liked this idea because, well there's a few, there's a few main reasons why I don't like it, but weather is one of them because I'm gonna to try to build this membrane with multiple coats out in the weather with different relative humidities, different temperatures, different amounts of sun, different amounts of wind. Maybe I don't have a full 24 to 36 hours of dry time before my next rain. So uh, doing that for multiple days in a row and trying to get this coating to dry or cure or adhere to itself or adhere to the metal roofing itself and, and, and function, rolling mesh into wet coating on big buildings. I've never understood that idea. The idea that I do understand it instead of building a membrane on the roof or applying a membrane on the roof, I do understand the idea of just installing a membrane on the roof. So that, that idea makes much more sense to me. It's a one-step process. Once we install a membrane, it's on the roof, it's done. We don't have to build anything on the roof, create anything on the roof, glue anything down on the roof. So the idea of a coating and the idea of a metal roof retrofit right off the beginning are very different ideas. It's a building a coating outside in an uncontrolled environment and hoping that you get it right, or it's installing a membrane that's been made in a factory and tested and proven. You just, we just come out and we install the membrane over top of the mill. So that's really the first thing uh, that, I, that I just don't like about a coating and I think is a big comparison. The overall idea is, is totally different. All right guys, so in point number two or comparison number two, between a metal roof coating and a metal roof retrofit is that I guess a big problem that I have with the coatings is that you don't get new flashings. So you pay this money, the price per square foot and have a crew come out and you have and you, and you, you put this stuff on your roof, but all of your flashings and all of your trims and your curbs are not new. What you get is more coating, more slop, more tar, more elastomeric, more whatever, more paint, more sealant. But that's usually what we find is already there. So I'm not a big fan of a coating, just not putting new flashings and just trying to put more coating on behind a curb or around a pipe. What you get with the retrofit, whether you do a TPO over metal or a PVC over metal, this happens to be a PVC, you get all new flashings. So here's a flashing around a pipe. And now in this PVC system of recover over metal, we can get these pipe flashings to fit any size pipe. So it can be a, a, a one inch gas line. It could be up to a 36 inch stack flashing on a factory. So you're gonna get with the metal roof retrofit system, you're gonna get an entire new flashing sealed at the top and with a stainless steel band on it. It's, it's all brand new around the pipes. Same thing with the curb here. You're gonna get a brand new curb flashing 
wrapped all the way around the box. Imagine this is a skylight or this is a fan. This could be an exhaust vent on your factory. This could be an HVAC unit. You're gonna get a new flashing all the way around this thing. And here's the corners for the accessories. And these seams are gonna get hot air welded back down to the membrane. It's all brand new. Whereas a coating, what you're gonna get, like I said, more coating behind it, more water building up behind it. A lot of times the coating actually creates more of a water pond behind these units. I've got pictures of that all. We'll put that in the video, the picture of how applying coating behind these metal actually causes more leaking. So with a metal roof retrofit, you just don't have that problem because you get all new flashings. And with a coating, you don't get any new flashings. All right, a third major difference between a metal roof coating and a metal roof retrofit. Remember, they cost about the same and we're trying to figure out what you get for your money. So a third major difference is with the metal roof retrofit, you're gonna get added insulation to your building. And you say, well, how is that? Well, inside the ribs of the existing metal, we're gonna take a piece of this insulation right here and we're gonna fill in the rib just like that. So it's gonna, it's gonna build out the profile of the metal. And then if I lift up this membrane, you're gonna see we're gonna recover your building with another layer of rigid polyiso insulation, which is gonna give you about another R6. This is probably an R2, and this is a, like an R6 per inch. And we usually go with a one inch rigid board across the whole surface to flatten it out. So with a metal roof coating, you're gonna get the white surface and you're gonna get some reflectivity, but you're also gonna get that with the retrofit and you're gonna get the continuous R value added across your building, which is gonna help you reduce your heating and your cooling costs in the summer and the winter. All right guys, so probably the fourth big item of comparison between a metal roof coating versus a metal roof retrofit would be timing. So most coatings are gonna need somewhere in the 50, 60, some of them need 65 and rising degree temperatures to cure right and to dry right before you can move on to your next coat. So that limits you in the window of application. Well, let's say that that window of uh, uh, early, uh, early summer into maybe late summer is, is all you have. Maybe that's the, the peak time of your business and that's not a good time for you to roof. Well, if you miss that window, well, that coating's not gonna work for you when it's uh, 25 and 30 degrees, but maybe you didn't get your tax information until the third quarter or fourth quarter and you need to invest into your building, stop these leaks, and now's the time to do it. Well, you can still do that with a retrofit. So it's a lot more flexible. We can install this even in sub-zero temperatures because remember, our membrane is already made. We don't have to make one on the roof. Whereas a coating, you have a very narrow window of, uh, of opportunity and especially like in the, the late fall when, when people are doing their tax and they're figuring out what their burden's gonna be and that might be the better time to know what level of investment you wanna do into your facility. Well, we're available to do this whereas a coating is not always gonna be available. Sometimes if it's gonna rain in the evening and be dry in the day, we can install as much square footage of this as we can get out. Whereas if you only had eight hours of dry time on a coating in the late fall, that's not gonna be an option for you. The, the stuff is gonna to have to cure. So the, the timing of where you're gonna be available to put a coating onto metal and the timing of where you can do a metal roof retro is a huge difference. We can do this pretty much all year long, whereas a coating you cannot. So that's my fourth big difference and why I prefer a metal roof retrofit system over a metal roof coating when you're doing metal roof repair on your buildings. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and we'll see you on the next video.